Hi everyone and welcome back to Arctic RC today for Elephant.no and of course another OMP product. Today we are going to take a look at the 1.25 meter wingspan stall airplane. Remember you can get this in different uh, variations. You can have it as an uh, ordinary plane without flaps and as an RAF. If you order the stall one, ARF, you get the options to uh, use flaps. If you choose the PMP, uh, you will have with all electronics, motor, uh, servos and ESC. The only thing you need is battery and a receiver. And we got the PMP version and the stall version, of course. So let's check the box. And as a bonus after the flight test, we will um, give you guys uh, the total setup on the Spectrum radio for uh, ailerons, uh, for flaps and mixing the flaps with the ailerons and so on. So you get the full setup and you can fly it just the way as we do. So we have stickers here and uh, we have the side rudder. You need some uh, uh, thin hinge CA to glue this in place. That's no problem. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Check the color. <laughs> Oh, this green, I love this green color. And if we carefully take off this tape and you can see that the rudder horn are pre-installed with uh, the bowlings. And we have a horizontal stabilizer. I love this color so much, it's so... I'm not going to say beautiful, it's great. <laughs> Look at this. This will be quite visible for me because, oh, sorry, the, the color that I see the best is green. I'm not colorblind, but the green is the ultimate color for me. Here also you have the rudder horn and the bowlings are pre-installed. Move it like this, and here is the right wing. My right, <laughs> oh, beautiful. Look at this. I wasn't going to say beautiful, it's so great, <laughs> but it is great, it's super great. The only thing you need to do is just insert your receiver and hook it all up and it will be super good. I already bought skis for it. Uh, they turn out to be a bit, a bit small, but perhaps they will work. Left main wing. Let's see. A small bag with um, uh, link rods. As I was saying, it's a quite easy setup. It's glue the uh, vertical stabilizer and the horizontal stabilizer to the fuselage. Mount the plane and mount the gears and install your receiver and fly. It should be that easy. And here we have two plastic nuts. Make sure that you find these because they were just lying in the box so you don't throw them away. And now for the final, let's check out the fuse. Holy crap. <laughs> this color is insane. I hope that it will be just as insane on the video as it is here in my living room. You can feel it's a bit weight on it, not much, but you can feel that it, it is a motor in it and an ESC. 
Oh. How about that? And you can see the spinner is mounted on the prop shaft to protect it. I think that is a good idea. Um, on the top here, you have a hatch with a magnet, pretty strong magnet. You can lift the plane with it. And here you can install your receiver. And in front also, quite powerful magnetic hatch for installing your battery. So, a quick... Like that. So, and of course, a uh, wings bar and a blue propeller, 12 by 6.5 E, a blue propeller on the green. It should have been yellow. Horizontal stabilizer. You just press this one into place. Uh, you perhaps need to uh, use some sandpapers to get it a bit more loose. I think it was way too snug now. Like that, should be okay. And what you want to do now is to align, uh, find points. Uh, let's just take the hatch, find a point and measure it to the end of this and to the end of this. Just make sure you have the same points and you can sort of wiggle it a little bit. Yeah, you have some room here. Um, out of the box, I think it's, it's pretty good and pretty aligned, but it's always great to do an extra check. Uh, I'm going to take this off again and I'm going to use a small bit of 5 minute epoxy um, and then I'm going to measure it. If this is the first time you do it, use like uh, 15 or 20 minutes epoxy. Don't use too much, just a little bit so that you get the pieces together because it's uh, plywood and balsa and that means that uh, epoxy will sort of blend in into the wood and it will be more than enough for this plane. So I'm going to push it back out again like this and we are going to apply some 5 minute epoxy. A little bit here. If you have too much, it will float out on the side and it will mess up the finish of the plane and you don't want that. So, uh, let's just see if we can still get it in here. A bit more easier now. Like that. And I believe that it is in place. Super. So I told you I'm going to put the end of this one. And it's about 20.5. And the same here. It's an eyeballing is always a good thing to do. This is as straight as an arrow. Beautiful. So then we can wait for about yeah eight minutes and it will be cured and we will go and put on the vertical stabilizer as well. So the epoxy has hardened and we can now uh, move along to the vertical stabilizer. Uh, no fuss at all. The fiberglass hinges, they are pretty good. So the only thing you need to do is uh, 
hit the right holes and just push it in. I know that it didn't sound good at all. Uh, make sure that you have uh, some clearance uh, on the top here. Uh, you want some and try to align it with the bottom. I think it's okay. And what you're going to do now is quite simple. You will lay down the airplane on the side and you will bend the vertical stabilizer down or up, that doesn't matter. And you will apply one or two drops on each hinge. This will spread out into the fiberglass and fasten the whole thing. So, one drop there and one drop there and one drop in the bottom there. So do not use a um, kicker on this. Um, the plane will look much more beautiful if you don't use kicker. Um, I'm going to check if there is some glue on the table here now. If not, we'll put this back. I we'll don't have any glue on my plane. Looks clean. The tail wheel we will fasten with this screw, which we will screw directly into the moving vertical stabilizer. Uh, through the uh, rail here, as you can see, if you can see it, there's a rail part here, so that the wheel will follow when uh, the stabilizer moves. So you can, of course, force it a little bit after using glue. There, no problem. And nothing has dropped on any places. Beautiful. That's actually one of the things that I don't like working with balsa models uh, or building, uh, is putting together bigger kits, is when you need to use a lot of glue. Um, that usually doesn't come out too great for me. So when you are going to, um, lock the vertical stabilizer to the back wheel, uh, drill a hole in the middle of this uh, rail through the uh, stabilizer and make it a little bit bigger hole here. And what you want to do now is apply one drop of thin CA into the balsa. That makes it harder and it will hold the screws or the screw for a much longer time. But one drop is enough. And of course, for more than one drop. Like that, and like that. No harm done. So, Nothing more than getting super glue on your fingers, that's so fun. Uh, we're going to clamp the hole. There it is. And we'll just put the screw back here. Beautiful. We can tighten it a little bit so that you don't get this rattling noise. I hate that. Beautiful. Okay, so now we are going to uh, put the wheels on it so it's much more uh, handleable when we are uh, uh, doing the installation. My advice here is to use Loctite. 
Awesome. And if you wonder which, which way to put the landing gear, uh, you can't go wrong here because it's like a triangle pattern. And the same is on the wheel. Here it is. Uh, this is blue Loctite. Could have gone with something stronger, but I think it's more than enough. So let's first one in. Beautiful. Not over tight it because it can strip its balsa and plywood. So make sure that you tighten them, but do not over tighten them. And you start to hear cracking sounds. <laughs> you can stop. Beautiful. Oh, I said the word. Great. Okay. So now we are done with the gluing part and all the things that's scoring. We have the wheels on the plane. Ta -ta -ta -ta. And we can put it down. I'm going to put it down here because I need to put the push rods on the elevator and the uh, rudder. So now we are going to take these wings. Uh, the sticker style comes with the model. You can choose whatever you like to uh, have on it. Uh, I will have the big horn, the bull, of course, and I will also be using um, some of my NX10 stickers on this one. It has some orange in it, and I think it will it will make a good break for the player. So, um, yes, then we take this wing first, and of course, the wires through here. It's snug fit uh, with um, this carbon tube, but don't be afraid to use a little power, but not too much. So these two block, um, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> These two plastic bolts, they go in the side here. And we chose to do this because we are going to travel with the plane as it is. And you just screw them in place. Some good clearing from the ground here as well. Like that. So uh, actually, when we think about it, the plane is now ready to assemble. Of course, we're going to put the props on and uh, we're just going to take off the spinner because I don't like to use the prop on when I'm doing the electric uh, part. But as you can see, she is so magnific magnificent. I promise you guys, I'm not going to use the word beautiful. You believe I'm biased. <laughs> so we are done mounting the big horn from OMP. Everything is now ready for the maiden flight. It took me a little bit longer because I wanted to set up uh, dual aerons and dual flaps and also mix in the flaps. So instead of letting your people watch me uh, doing all the settings in the radio, uh, here we are, and as you can see, uh, we have a great rudder authority, and of course, and a side rudder as well, if you can see it, I can take it down, beautiful. Yes, and we also mounted the propeller. Beautiful. Uh, let's check out the 
the flaps from the top first. Like that. And with a switch, we have insane rudder authority. I'm going to show you uh, the other way. Like uh, this is. So, first, flaps. Cool. And then with the mix. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, I will. Um, do uh, some setup on the tail tomorrow, um, figuring, uh, figuring out how much um, uh, mix I need on the horizontal stabilizer when I'm using the flaps and so on. But uh, uh, it's, it's just amazing. Uh, I'm sorry for using the word beautiful all the time. Uh, it's the only nice word I know. No. <laughs> But anyway, it is a beautiful model. It is Bolso, and you know what? It is PMP, and it comes as RTF as well. Another day, another model. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> today we are going to test fly the OMP Big Horn. From uh, we got this from Elephant. Uh, before we test it, I have to state that I'm by no means a prof uh, professional uh, pilot. Uh, I consider myself an intermediate pilot, but uh, good enough to do some tricks with this beautiful plane. It runs on a 3 cell 2200. You can push it up a bit on uh, the milliamp, perhaps uh, 3000. Uh, there's a lot of room in the nose of this airplane and as you have seen on the build video uh, there's a lot of rudder on this one and I think she will move crazy. <laughs> We will start out with a takeoff, just fly for a circle, trim it out, then land it. And we're going to try a, a stall takeoff and stall landing before we start with the aerobatic stuff. No trim needed. Beautiful. Let's go for landing. Now we will try a stall landing, stool landing, stall landing. <laughs> uh. Flaps. So the idea here is to use as little of the runway as possible. Short takeoff. Short takeoff. Ready? Yes. Woo! That's like two meters. Well, stall landing isn't my uh, profession, so but uh, I think it's it's 
beautiful? <clears throat> <laughs> setting this up for a beginner i think if you are a new new beginner you need some flight time but this is a beautiful model to sort of step away from that foamy and start with your balsa plane and the cool thing with these ones is that when you're tired of flying electric and you want to go nitro i'm sure there is a way to modify this little beauty with a tw os 20 or something like that 25 <laughs> wouldn't be a problem at all but i like to do those things but anyway for um, a known first pilot and in uh, intermediate pilot and pro pilot i think this is a beautiful plane also a beautiful plane to put in your car because it takes no place and if you are good with quick connectors you can just add some quick connectors push the wings together tighten them and you're ready to fly let's just change the battery and do more flights with it perhaps tommy will fly it as well so uh, this is the second flight of the OMP Big Horn and you are now going to show me how to do a flat spin. Yeah, we'll try. Yes, yes. okay. You should try it with the flaps as ailerons. Yeah, try. You have uh, one and a half minute left. Uh, definitely better. Okay, turn it off. And land. Short landing.
Oké, okay, daar is een stoolleiding. <laughs> so, uh, link to the product is uh, left in the info section below. Uh, this is for sure a keeper. Beautiful. You need to buy one, Tommy. Yes, uh, definitely.